Now, why are these men embarrassing my sisters like this? Girl, what is going on, Hallie? Girl! Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Oh, Hallie, what time is it? So what's going on, you all? We have to talk about the drama with DDG and Halle Bailey. Y'all know that they have been dating in a relationship for whatever. And recently, DDG got exposed by Ruby Rose on Twitter for being in her DMs. And all of this mess started from DDG kind of like insinuating that Halle cheated on him. And, you know, all girls are the same, da da da, da. He unfollowed her and... Maybe this was like some content and stuff. Like he does that type of prankish YouTube content or whatever. Like, girl, this is why folks, this y'all be giving content creators a bad name. Like, I hate even telling folks that I'm a content creator. Like, I, I just really hate it because y'all give us a bad rap or whatever. But um, he, you know, said this not too long ago, and people started speculating that maybe Hallie had cheated. And the folks were dragging Halle. Like, they was going all in. Now come to find out, they might have had a little spat or wasn't talking or whatever. And he was in his ex-girlfriend's DMs. Ruby Rose posted on social media. And girl, it got messy because she called him out. She's like, girl, you always in my DMs after y'all argue. Like, this is like you. You need to go, go somewhere in here. He's like, you right. And it's just been a, a complete mess. Um, Hallie has now, like, you know, kind of responded to it, but not responded to it. She said she had a good Valentine's Day, um, and she was, like, kind of insinuating that the devil was busy. And, like, this is what I'm going to say. Hallie is in her early 20s. She is in her early 20s. And we've been there. Girl, I have been 30, like, dealing with ignorant men. So I get it. I don't want to hold Hallie to a high standard. Yes, yeah, she is, like, in one of her, like, in her in her bag. Like, she is about to have a, a, a sickening movie come out, The Little Mermaid, come out in the next couple of months or whatever. Like, she has a promising career and all of these things. Uh, but, like, this man is, like, his mess is now got her in it. Even though it's like she's young, it's like, girl, this man can ruin your like career. Like that's like, we've seen men ruin like female artists careers. <laughs> like girl, like y'all have a history. Like there has not been too many like times where a, a, a woman has ruined a man's career. People might say, oh, well, you know, when they call him out for allegations of abuse and all the other stuff, that's not ruining, but like, y'all be out here, like, there's been a little Wayne with Nivea. There's, like, the whole situation with Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. Like, there's so many, like, Tina Turner, not ruining it, but it's just, like, y'all be doing some really, like, messed up stuff to women. And I just don't want to see Hallie. I think a lot of folks are just protective of Hallie and just don't want to see her go through it. So her sister, not Chloe, responded to it. And, you know, when the first the mess started happening, she was like, hey, not this one. Like, you did these other girls like that. You're not going to play with my sister like that, Hallie, da, da, da. And, you know, some people may support it just like, it doesn't matter if Hallie is, you know, innocent and a Christian woman or whatever, da, 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 da. Or the other girls were not Christians or not, like, you know, this saint or whatever. Like, this man's going to be trash regardless. Like, it makes no difference how close you are to God. Like... Men gonna be trash regardless. Honestly, they will use the Bible to be even more trash to you, to be honest. But I just didn't like that response of people saying, well, you can do everybody else like that. No, he shouldn't be doing anybody like that. And DDG has been called out for a couple of things. People called him out for being a colorist. They said his mother was a colorist. He did a video a long, long, long time ago. And like he pranked his mama or something. Um, like he had got this black girl pregnant. His mama had made some derogatory comments about the dark skinned girl or whatever. It's just like, whoo, girl, it's a lot. It's a lot. And um, I just hate to see it. I hate to see the dog palette on Hallie. Um, she did lock up her Twitter. Girl, you got like a million plus followers on Twitter. It's just not making sense. But I hate that my girl had to go through that. I hate because coming from this man who just couldn't shut up. Even if they did have a spat or whatever, don't go online Say it, like that pisses me off. It makes me think about I, this situation I'm going through where like, I don't understand how folks just can't shut up. Like, shut up. 
Like, have the conversation with the persons. There's no need for a thousand other people to get involved in it. The sister should have never responded. She stirred more drama. People are gonna start looking and figure out what's going on. I also don't like the response of the devil is busy. Girl, no, this is not. Girl, your boyfriend name has two D's in there. Like, if it's anybody the devil is busy, it's DDG, okay? Devil damn good, okay? Girl, it's a mess, but I just don't like that response. Y'all know how I am. I don't like that. Oh, the devil is busy. Like, there's this entity that is in playing, doing stuff. No, this is DDG doing the most online. Like, he's bringing y'all relationship online for the to the public forum for us to talk about. There was no need for him to get on and insinuate that you had cheated on him. There was no need. Even if you did, that's between y'all. Like, that is between y'all. There was no need. And come to find out if that wasn't the case. And come to find out that he was in another woman's DMs. And then the responses have been trash. So instead of DDG just ignoring the criticism and whatever, just like, hey, girl, let me delete the tweets. Let me get out of this, da-da-da. People start dragging him. And he started talking to these women. Was just like, oh, you me. I wouldn't talk to you no way, da da It's just like... Girl, what is going on? Why are you even responding to these women? If these folks don't matter, let me tell you something. If I had half the access and half the money that y'all had, I would not be bothered. I would not be bothered. Like, I'd be like, hey, girl, you know, da 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 da. Y'all be so invested. And it's given that y'all might be addicted to online, girl. Because let me tell you something. If I can, if I had the, like, the money to just go somewhere, like, I just would be, I would not be concerned. But y'all are so, like, some of y'all are, I don't know what to call y'all, or I can't even diagnose y'all, but there's something wrong with, you are so pissed off at mess that you have caused. You have caused this mess. You tweeted that you knew exactly what you were doing when you said what you said, and people started to look up stuff and trying to find out what happened. Now... You got folks mad at Hallie. And it's like, girl, the only news we need to be hearing about Hallie is the new Little Mermaid trailer and when it's coming out. Da, 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 da. Like, that's all the news. That's all the news I want to hear about Hallie. It's like, when is Little Mermaid coming out? What the trailer giving? How is it going to look? I don't want to be searching Hallie's name. Trying to, and then you got DDG drama going on. Like, her boyfriend. Like, even if she does break up or they break up, that's fine. But to be online attacking her, like, or trying to use her name for clout, it's disgusting. It's disgusting, like, and that's one of the things I have always considered when, like, dating. It's like, I don't want to talk to somebody who will use my name or whatever, or my, like, my, my, like, whatever, my image or something to gain an audience or to create mess or something. I, like, that's even with friends. That's even relationships or anything. I just don't want to deal with no mess like that. And I can only imagine, like, and, and you know, Poe Hallie, she's trying to get online and trying to, like, you know, the devil is busy. Like, girl, the devil right in your living room. Probably playing the Xbox or the PlayStation. And we want to see y'all do good. We want to see you and your sister, like, do good. Like, and this last week has just not been a good week for both of them. Just got to doing a video talking about Chloe and her, um, you know, doing a single and stuff with Chris Brown that has now led into even more mess, like a story come out and then the men start responding and it just turns into even more mess because they can't shut up. For men to be dragging women and saying that women can't keep their mouth shut and they always talking, they be in the beauty shop gossiping. Let me tell you something. Nobody gossips like men do. Men, let me tell you, there's many barbershops I've been in in my lifetime Men don't do anything but gossip. I remember being 16 years old and black heterosexual men were talking about my sexuality while I was leaving the barbershop. Like a friend was sitting down, my best friend's sister was sitting down listening to them talk about me and not knowing that I was like close to them. Like that, men gossip so much. Like I just remember several times like my sexuality being talked about sitting in the chair as a child and even leave like it is disgusting it's disgusting and men just do not they don't they don't do but gossip and they don't think that they gossip because they are men so they don't they continue to do even more and they like it just be so much ignorance i'm just like just shut up just shut up ddg even if you and hallie were not talking for whatever reason 
just be quiet. Like, hey girl, like we're not talking right now. And you could have maybe been in Ruby Rose's like DMs or whatever, but Ruby Rose probably like responded because you just wouldn't shut up. You just wouldn't shut up. And I honestly don't blame Ruby Rose for posting the screenshot on the timeline. I don't blame her. Some people thought that was low, da da da, like girl, like no, like child, you out here trying to air me out, I'm gonna air you out. Like girl, you try to make me seem like, you know, that you get in two shoes, I'm gonna air y'all out. I'm gonna air y'all out, like girl. And I think that's what it is, like people try to keep this like good image or whatever. And it's just like, girl, your person like is in my DMs like doing the most. Like your man out here embarrassing you. Girl, I would be so embarrassed. Like I have been, pff, I had a situation like that. I had a situation like that where it was a barber. Um, This is Shirley's situation. I talked about that on my Patreon child. Like girl, ex literally cheated on me. And somebody I know had to, somebody who I'm not even cool with, sent me a DM on, on like on Facebook Messenger and was like, hey, your boyfriend has been sleeping with my boyfriend. And I'm like, girl, what do you mean? Like, child, I believed it because when I asked my ex about it, I was like, such and such said this happened. And he was like, oh, I was at work. I was like, girl, you was at work? What do you mean you was at work? Like, that's not the response that you give if somebody's accusing you of cheating. You say, hey, girl, I don't know, I ain't did nothing like that. But the response was, I was at work, which means they already had they loud. They had they alibi ready. Girl, I should have went and got them some Dunkin' Donuts, cause baby, they was ready to sing like a bird after a couple of minutes. Um, but I talk, I talk about stuff like that on my Patreon. It's very interesting stuff, y'all. The patrons know what to. Shout out to House Martell. Period. That's where it goes down. But um, not me giving a plug. Period. But I hate this for my girl Hallie, especially considering the trailer for um, the extended whatever trailer what they, they want to call it a trailer. The Little Mermaid just came out not so long ago. I feel like, girl, at this point, Disney, they probably nervous about this project, to be honest, because they have been, like, literally drip drop with this. Like, girl, if y'all don't release the trailer and stop playing with us, because the CGI actually did not look all that good, to be honest. There was one part in there where she, like, did the little stuff, the blowfish or whatever it was. It was really, really cute. But it doesn't look real. Like, it doesn't look r real, real. Like, it just looks like, you know, animation. It's supposed to be realistic. And it, it, it is what it is, girl. But that's a whole other conversation. I've been talking about that in my King of Reese video. But, girl, tell me what y'all think about all this drama that's going on. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to y'all later.